This custom room is right now one of the most customizable custom rooms based on Android 16, including some amazing features and outstanding things. Which are those things and why I'm saying this? Let's just quickly talk about that. The custom room I'm talking about is Lunaris AOSP. The version is 3.2 official version I'm using right now, having the latest security patch based on Android 16. Some of the great things which you are getting with this custom room, let's have a quick look. First of all, the default launcher. Not every custom room is giving you the different kind of launcher, which means they are giving you pixel launcher pre-installed. But in this case, we have the option to switch between them. We have this option named as quick switch available. So you can switch between three launchers, pixel launcher, 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 and also this quick step, which I'm using right now. So if you want to use a different launcher, you can, you do not have to root your device. You do not have to install anything else. That's actually quite good. Secondly, it brings you sidebar customizations. Many, I've been mean basically very few custom rooms are providing you sidebar customizations. If you are into floating windows, if you do multitasking, if you launch apps in sidebar, you have the option to customize that even further. You have the option for some more things. Also have the option to customize the freeform launch mode. For example, if you want to launch it like AOSP mode or this LMO freeform, these two options are also present in this case. Same goes with some other options. For example, system tweaks. Some amazing options include the ability to downgrade the apps. Also have the option for ignore windows secure flags. Also have the option for hiding the screen capture status. All these things are present in this case too. Another thing which is present in this case is hide the keyboard IME space. For example, if you are able to notice no space below keyboard. Quite underrated but still a very useful thing. In this case, by enabling that option, you will also see that pill is also hidden. In my personal opinion, I don't like it much. But if you like it, then the option is available here for you. And of course, it is having the expressive material expressive theme already enabled. Another thing is, you will have the option for system haptics. So you can adjust the volume slider haptic intensity, also the edge scrolling haptic intensity too. If you move on to some spoofing options, all the spoofing options you think of already present in this case, like option for Google app spoofing, Play Store spoof, Google photo spoofing and so on. Also have the option for Netflix spoofing. So spoof your device, a different model for Netflix. Some other options include Keybox XML, which means you'll be able to pass strong integrity as I already have that keybox available. So let me show you what's my play integrity status, my device play integrity status right now. And if you need a strong keybox, a strong integrity on your device also by using keybox, I made a video on how to find that keybox. In this case, I have already that. And as you can see, in my case, it's just three green picks and many users are not getting that. But in this case, I'm getting without any issues. We also have some basic tweaks like, for example, clock and date customization. It brings you this background chip. This is, I mean, enabled in some other custom rooms, but normal option to enable or disable. But in this case, more extra options, which kind of style you like. Another thing is related to status bar customization, which brings you extra padding options. This is really underrated, but so useful thing. If you want to adjust the top padding, start and end padding, like the icons, you want them at the bottom, top, etc, etc. All the options are present here for you. Another one is edge lighting. Edge lighting is also present in this case. If you want in notifications look like better, I mean, I'm, do you have these options available? If you want to enable that, you have the option, of course, available for this. And we also have edge lighting available and have the option for this lock screen tweaks, which brings you user switcher. In my case, I'm using user switcher and it's a so useful thing. We also have the header images in quick settings panel. But the one thing is there's a catch. If you're looking forward to 116 style volume, 116 style quick settings panel, it's here, but it is actually kind of inspired from nothing goes. The brightness slider you just noticed. Also have header images customizations. Uh, things are quite good. The editing, I, editing UI is same, but it's a bit different from the normal 116 style quick settings panel you are getting. Some other customizations like theming options and so on already present. So definitely some things are so good. You have the option to customize the settings UI. You have the option to customize some more things. There are a lot of other things available which you can go and explore for now. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.